Okay, now I'm going to walk you through drawing the part in a CAD software, Autodesk Inventor. First thing I do is I go to Get Started tab, create a new part. There's my part drawing. That opens up into the Cartesian coordinate system, and then I'm going to start drawing. Uh, I'm move my screen over here. My lower left corner of my piece is going to be at the origin. I'm going to create with the line, snap at the origin. I go up about 0.17 inches, somewhere close. I'm going to go over to an angle. And there. Close up my trapezoid and connect these dots here. So now that I'm done drawing, I'm going to click on done. Now I'm going to snap dimension. Put the dimensions on these lines. This line is a height. That trapezoid is point, so it was a point three three. The height of this side of the trapezoid was point one three. And then the horizontal distance here was five point seven five. Okay, so now my shape is drawn. Zoom in a little bit. Um, it's all drawn to dimension. I finish the sketch. Goes into 3D. I want to extrude it. I want to extrude it the width of the shim, which is 2.83 inches. Um, so there's my part. Now that I have that part, I'm going to drill those holes into it. A few ways you could do it. First, I'm going to go back to drawing on this plane, back into 2D space create some construction lines. And once I get near the midpoint, it'll give me a little green mark. There's my midpoint. I'm going to draw this line just horizontal. This is for the first hole. It's 1.8 inch, inches down. Just click there. I'm done drawing that line. I'll dimension that line. And that dimension is 1.8. Then create a circle starting there. I'll just draw it out. I'm done drawing it. Got a dimension and the diameter of the first hole is half an inch. So I got 0.5. Okay, I'm finished that sketch. I can leave my construction line on. I could extrude that circle down through it or better yet I could just create a hole. So I'm going to create a hole. Uh, the width of the hole diameter was 0.5 and I'm just going to snap on that. That's it. There's my first hole. Go back to creating a 2D sketch on this plane. Again I create a construction line or maybe from the center of this to the center of my next hole is exactly one inch. So I'll just snap it there. Done. Dimension this line. So that was one. Create my next circle from this point. I'll dimension that. Diameter of my second circle is 0.85. I'm all done. So I finished the sketch. Once again, I could use hole, that's the easiest, or I could extrude it through. So I'll click on hole. This diameter is 0.85. 8.5. I'll snap on the center. I'm done. Okay. Back to the 2D sketch. Bring it up. I gotta create these semicircles here. And I need to create a construction line again. It's gonna go from here to 1.4 down. I've done that. Click on dimension. That dimension's exactly 1.4. I'm going to create a circle, snap in there, dimension, dimension that circle, diameter of that is 0.6, and then I'm going to actually go back and delete that first construction line there, and I want to create a new line from that point to that point. Finish the sketch.